What's your name? Portia. Hi, Portia. Hi. What's going um, on? My question for you is, um, I, I started plucking my eyebrows up when I was young, as most girls do. And as I got older, I kept on plucking. And soon enough, like, there's no hair, really. That, I mean, there's, like, little pieces here and there, but not enough to make an eyebrow. Is there anything that I can do to, like, stimulate hair growth, but only in this region? Like, I don't want to... Wow. Can, can, we, can, we, um, can we zoom in? Look, look so, at Danica, that camera, have, you, because... have you drawn those on for us today? Is that what you're Yeah, I, I have to draw them on every day. And it takes yeah. me up to an hour to get them, like, matching yeah. and looking Look, look right in that camera, really. Because okay. if you look closely, next to you, I can see that your eyebrows are pretty much gone. There isn't, mm -hmm. yeah. But how, how old from a distance, you, it, you look looking? great, by the way. You can't really tell. It's Thank Yeah, you. no, from here, I, look, yeah. I mean, you're doing a great job. Thank you. But... Yeah, I don't, I don't want them to look, you know, have painted on or whatever, but I started plucking them just, by, I was like probably 12 years old. I had big, beautiful eyebrows. Yeah. And it's just slowly they stopped growing. Unfortunately, sometimes with, with plucking, if it's not done correctly and if you're just constantly plucking, you can actually scar the hair follicles and make it so that no hair ever grows well, back. I think, that sounds like And I happened. think that's the case because you brought it up. Are, is there something I can put on or do yeah. to get that hair to grow back? Those hair follicles have probably been damaged. So the things we can do, pills, Propecia, uh, Rogaine, things like that, that you can use to, to stimulate hair growth are not going to work there. Yeah, so at, at, at this stage, with that plucking to that extent, I mean, you're probably talking about needing some sort of transplantation. Right. Can I take um, you know, a closer look yeah, as well? Yeah, because besides one of transplantation, they actually, too, make prosthetic eyebrows that you can actually kind of put on. So you would be putting those on instead of drawing them on. Mike, are you back there? Do you mind if I remove your makeup? I, I know you did such a beautiful job, and it, it took you. Do we have uh, some makeup wipes? As long as everybody doesn't scream and run. I look like oh. an alien. I look We're like an alien. We're not going to do that. No, you You're do not. You're too beautiful don't for laugh, that. Don't laugh, Rachel. Too <laughs> beautiful for that. Here we go. Thank you, thank you. Do you want to do it for me? OK, just yep. one. Can I leave one on, okay, or do you, you want to both Yeah, removed? I think because they're pretty much the same, right? <laughs> yeah, they're the just, exact same. Just do one for me, OK. Yeah. I can't really see, so let me know. Wow. Okay. Yeah, there's pretty much you've nothing. You've done some. You've done some plucking. <laughs> there. Can, can we do? Show the audience really quickly. While Dr. Warren's like, I just want everyone to see what a good job that you've done <laughs> to to essentially hide that your eyebrow is gone. Mm -hmm. So when you see that, Dr. Warren, you see probably no chance that it's just going to start growing back. But there's right? just there's just not enough hair <laughs> going on there. My recommendation is is putting some some new hair follicles in there and. Uh, Cause this, can I ask a question? Is this all your natural hair? No. So do you have issues elsewhere with, yeah, with yeah. your hair? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I basically, um, all my eyelashes, eyebrows, and hair have all kind of deteriorated and... Did, did your, did your hair, pulling? were you pulling it out? Um, it was a little bit of that and then just some health problems, nutritional health problems. Because that, that can affect hair growth too, yeah. other metabolic... Conditions. And some people yeah. haven't heard of trichotillomania, but mm -hmm. it's basically a, a nervous condition where you're actually pulling out your hair, your eyebrows, and your hair follicles to the point where you end up kind of um, scarring your hair follicles and going bald. And, and for those other areas, you may want to try some, some medications uh, and some foams and things like and that. Let, that. Let me ask you, are you still pulling? Um, I, I actually take a medication that helps me not okay. have that Dealt urge to pull a little bit. Yeah. So, so I, I, have you been diagnosed um, with trichotillomania? Actually, have, have... I, I actually was um, diagnosed with OCD. Mm -hmm. And so, but that, I've heard of that, but that wasn't my diagnosis. Well, that could be a manifestation, like Dr. Rachel mm -hmm. was saying, of, uh, you know, it's, it's a compulsion. Yes. Because mm -hmm. OCD basically means obsession and compulsion. So you, were, you had an obsession that you kept thinking about, and the compulsion was pulling your hair, which is the trichotillomania part of that. And it, and it can be a very debilitating thing, especially for a beautiful person like yourself. So right. I'm, and, and you I'm are glad beautiful. that you're here. <laughs> you really are. Right and and I'm, I'm glad we're talking about this because it happens. You're not alone. And, and there are solutions. Lynn, are you back there in, in the control booth? Can you call my, my friend, Dr. Yazdan, up? We have a doctor that's been on the show, a specialist in hair plugs, and he's, he's done it before for eyelashes, for eyebrows, other parts of the head. Would you be interested in talking to Absolutely. him? Absolutely. We 
Do you have Dr. Yazdan on the phone? We do. Dr. Yazdan, how are you? It's Dr. Orden. Hey, how you guys doing? Well, we're doing great. And uh, hey, we, had, we had an audience uh, guest with a problem. She's lost her eyebrows, and uh, you came to mind. I thought of you. We know that you've gotten some great results with microfollicular grafting to, uh, to give back some eyebrow hair. Yeah, you know, um, I appreciate you guys calling me. Um, I actually see a lot of patients like this, um, and I've helped quite a few of them restore their eyebrow hair. Uh, it really makes a difference with how people feel. So what, what can you do? Well, um, you know, one of the things that we can do is we can take uh, donor hair from multiple areas of the body, um, you know, being the, the underarm area, pubic area, uh, but the best area is usually the back of the head. Um, we can do a follicular unit extraction, which means that we take out an individual hair follicle at a time, and then we can actually regraft those hairs in the eyebrow area. That's okay. awesome. So, so there's a lot of hope. Absolutely. You know, the process is pretty quick. I can usually restore the eyebrow hair within a couple of hours, and the hair will grow in shortly after that. Well, we've seen your work, and uh, I think we have an ideal candidate. Would you be willing to meet her in consultation? Absolutely. Why don't you guys uh, send her down? I'd love to take a look at her. All right. See if I can help her out. All Thank right. You. We got you, girl. We got you. We got you. So, Portia, there's hope for everyone. Addressing your issues is the only way you get it fixed. And thanks, Dr. Yazdan.